Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how you can connect Siri with perplexity and use voice to search the internet with the technology that is behind ChatGPT. Alright, but what's the problem with just using Google as we always did? So the thing is, we have so many information on the internet these days. It's more information than even the richest human on earth had available just a few decades ago and we can access this all for free. And the obstacle to not using it all the time is the friction that exists between that information in the internet and having that information in our head. And in many everyday situations, like when we are in a conversation or we quickly need to look up something, it's just not convenient to open an app or going in the internet and doing a Google search and then finding the right link. That's exactly where a voice search can access perplexity directly and ideally give you the relevant information really quickly within just a few seconds. So how exactly does that work? You might have seen my previous video about perplexity already and if you haven't uh, you can look at the link up here and watch that. But just as a quick reminder Perplexity is a website and an app that uses GPT technology to search the internet and provide you up-to-date information including sources. And now you can use Perplexity as an app on the iPhone, link it with another app called Siri Shortcuts and then access directly with the Siri voice interface. Now let me show you how this works on my iPhone. Search and perplexity. What do you want to ask perplexity? Who wrote the books about Elon Musk and Steve Jobs? Walter Isaacson wrote the books about Elon Musk and Steve Jobs. One, two, three. Otherwise, uh, the answer is quite long, so no need to listen to all of it. But uh, what you need to know is that you cannot answer a follow-up question directly in Siri, but you can do so in the perplexity app. Now here, if you scroll down to the threads, you see your previous questions, like here. This is the one I just asked. You see the full answer, including all the sources, and you have the option to ask the follow-up question, even with voice. So as you saw in the example just now, you can ask perplexity a question in Siri, and then you can follow up in the perplexity app and uh, have a conversation with follow-up questions. What you can currently not do is ask follow-up questions directly in the Siri interface. That's actually something you can already do with ChatGPT in Siri. Check out this video that I made about that topic. And what you can also not do is see the sources. You will just get a number in the Siri response that is read out as one, two, three or whatever. And if you want to see the specific source, you still need to go in the perplexity app. I should also point out that sometimes there are significant waiting times until you get a response, something like 5 to 10 seconds. Other times perplexity cannot answer in time and Siri will just tell you that there is a connection issue and there will be no answer. I can just hope and I'm also confident that perplexity will be improving the technology and solving this problem over the coming months. Next, let's take a look how Siri with perplexity answers questions differently from Siri with ChatGPT and just plain Siri as it is pre-installed on every iPhone. If you want to read the full answers, I suggest you quickly pause the video. All right, let's start with a question about the weather. How is the weather? As you see, only vanilla Siri was able to answer the weather question. Perplexity and GPT both felt this one. Next, let's ask a historical question. What's Napoleon's birthday? This question was answered by all the three, with Siri and Perplexity also providing sources. The answer of Perplexity was unnecessarily long, but still everyone gets a point here. Next, let's ask a question about the news. What are today's news? Alright, so here we see Perplexity and Vanilla Siri are able to provide news while ChatGPT fails. 
The perplexity news are very extensive and read out, while the Siri interface is probably more intuitive and gives you the news to read and easily follow up. Next, let's look at the category of business. Did Apple make a profit in 2007? All right, we see that perplexity gives us the full answer, including a number, whereas ChatGPT answers correctly but without numbers, and Siri fails to answer and just gives us a link to an internet search. So full point for perplexity and half point for ChatGPT here. Lastly, let's see which of the three can tell us a good joke. Tell me a joke. I actually think these jokes can be quite funny sometimes, although I'm not sure it's totally necessary to provide me with a whole list as Perplexity did in this case. Alright, as you see, Perplexity and Siri and Siri both get 4 points and win against ChatGPT and Siri. The strength of Perplexity compared to the other two is that it can directly access the internet and give much more detailed information whereas ChatGPT has no internet access at all and Siri will just provide you a few more or less random links that might have something to do with what you're looking for. All right, now that you know what perplexity and Siri is all about, let me quickly show you how you can set it up so you can use it on your own iPhone. What you need on your iPhone is Siri, perplexity and shortcuts. For Siri, let's go to the settings app and inside of this, you can go to Siri and search. And here you have different options you can use to activate Siri. I don't use Hey Siri because it misfires too often for me. But press the home for Siri with a new iPhone is the side button. And also allowing Siri when locked absolutely makes sense for me. The next thing you need is Perplexity, an app that looks like this and you can get it in the App Store. Here you get an interface where you can directly ask questions also with voice. But in this video we are talking about using it through Siri. So let's go back. The last thing we need is shortcuts. For this let's go into the shortcuts app. Then we scroll down until we find perplexity. We select see all. This information button right here. And we enable Siri. Alright. Now we are good to go and we can try it out. One great thing about this whole setup is that it's completely free as long as you have an iPhone. Perplexity has a premium plan but you don't need that. And Siri Shortcuts is freely provided by Apple. And of course Siri comes along with every iPhone anyways. And that was Perplexity AI together with Siri. A different way to access the internet with a voice interface. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.